Fire officials still don't know what caused that fast-moving brush fire in Chino Hills that gutted one family's home. The fire burned over 150 acres and it is now mostly contained. Firefighters were battling this brush fire on Falling Star Lane and Chino Hills Parkway for several hours yesterday and remained at the scene throughout the night. And that's where CBS News Tina Patel is live in Chino Hills with the latest on all of these efforts. Tina. Yeah, as you said, the fire is mostly out, but fire crews have been staying here overnight, keeping watch as I step out of the way. There are some still smoldering areas both in this house and the surrounding hillsides. Every time a little wind picks up, you can see the embers, and that's why firefighters have had to stay here, put more water to make sure the fire doesn't start back up. Now take a look at this video from yesterday. You can see how quickly that fire was moving at points. It started around 2 p.m. Within hours, had burned more than 150 acres. There was a lot of dry brush and thick vegetation on the hillsides that acted as fuel. Fire crews worked quickly, and they were able to save most of the homes in this area. But unfortunately, one home did burn. It belonged to Tony Forrest. She said her family built their stream home 20 years ago, and she thinks more could and should have been done to save it. And it's getting worse and worse and worse. And I said, what are you guys doing? Why aren't you getting water on my house? And they said, we ran out of water. We're waiting on more trucks. Chino Valley Fire did admit that they had some issues with water pressure yesterday, but they said they did their best. They are glad that the family was able to get out of this home safely and that all the other homes in this neighborhood were saved. Now, the last official report last night was that the fire was 65% contained, but fire crews tell me they feel good about what they did overnight. They're expecting their next briefing in just about an hour, so we'll let you know what they say then.